Well, just Lauren Casey here now with what's going to be a topsy turvy week for us. Huh? Absolutely. Ups and downs, but that moisture, our dry weekend, it has come to a close. And we have some drizzle coming down right now as we get a live look at Center City, Philadelphia, Logan Square. Got a little drops on the lens right now. We have low clouds looming, and that rain is going to continue and pick up in intensity as we head into the late overnight period. But visibility starting to drop with this surface moisture moving in on a southerly wind flow. Visibility down to about five miles in the city, six miles in Allentown, down to a four mile visibility with some drizzle in Wilmington. But the bulk of the precip still off to our south with an area of low pressure that is materializing off the southeast coast that will move off to the north and east and pass by and bring us some of this moisture and energy as we head into the day tomorrow. That's system number one. Then comes system number two as we head into Tuesday. This developing out of the Midwest that will bring us a chance for rain late day Tuesday and potentially some snow Wednesday morning. But temperatures right now we're at 41 degrees, so fairly mild for this late at night this time of year in the city right now. 34 degrees in Allentown. We're in the middle 40s in Wildwood. Temperatures have been warming over the last couple of hours and over the last 24 hours were significantly warmer thanks to that south wind up 20 degrees from this time yesterday in Millville. And tonight our temperature we're sitting around our low right now will actually gradually warm throughout the overnight period with areas of drizzle and rain continuing to develop. Then for the day tomorrow. That should be Monday rain and some of that heavy at times gusty with our high temperatures mild in the middle 50. So there goes the one low. Here come that secondary system as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. The cold front drops in, cold air rushes in on the backside. Still some moisture lingering, so we could see some snow developing that could be measurable Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning, including during the Wednesday morning commute. So stay tuned to that evolving portion of the forecast. But for tomorrow, it's going to be all rain and some of that heavy at times in the morning again during the evening and then periods of rain, especially in the afternoon and evening on Tuesday. So future weather showing us as we head throughout the overnight period, dealing with this widespread rainfall that moves across the area from south to north, some heavier pockets then likely a little bit of a lull around midday. Then afternoon, the rain returns once again. Again, could be heavy in intensity for your Monday evening commute. As we look towards the Eagles game, some of that shower activity will start to lift out. Other models have the rain persisting a little bit further into the game, but looks like the second half of the game, we could certainly get a break. Then a break by Tuesday morning. Morning. Some low clouds around, but mainly dry conditions, mild as well. Temperatures in the 60s, but then as we head into the rest of the day on Tuesday, here comes the rain and then the drop in temperatures on the backside of that cold front, and we start to see some snow developing and overspreading the area as we head into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. With this first system in particular, we will see some gusty winds overspreading the area, especially South Jersey. You could wake up to windy conditions tomorrow, and then the winds kind of moving up to the north, up to the Lehigh Valley and Poconos as we head into the second half of the day. When us potentially to 35, maybe even localized to 40 miles per hour. And for the game, you might not see rain throughout the whole game, but we will see these gusty winds persisting likely through much of the birds game tomorrow. So do prepare for that. As we head into Tuesday, our forecast high temperature of 63 degrees occurs early in the day. Then there's your dramatic drop as we head into Wednesday, plummeting down into the 30s. And check out Thursday, waking up to low hmm. 20s ending the day at the freezing mark. Quite the no. interesting week there. Quite the ride. All right, mm -hmm. Lauren, thank you so much. Let's